For Wall Street Media, I'm Mike, I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. It feels empty the beginning when you don't get punched in the shoulder, you know? Well then punch me, I own. Come on, Mike, what do you have for us today? Just on my, up my yeah, what do you have, bud? We have a video clip and notes and highlights from uh, conferences. First up, we have a video of Peter Demaris, president and CEO of On Assignment, ticker ASGN. Talks about growth drivers in the staffing industry, including benefits from the stimulus plan. Let's take a look. You know, uh, events like this, economic uh, slowdowns remind customers of the benefit of uh, contract labor. And in fact, I would, I would argue to you that uh, this last economic expansion of 2004 th or 2003 through 2007, some people actually lost uh, track of the benefit of uh, contract labor. And when you looked at the results of some of the very, very respected retained search firms like Hydro and Struggles, in uh, Corn Ferry, you saw that there was this uh, surge to hire permanently. I think as we come out of this, I think people are going to have a bigger percentage of uh, contract labor to full-time labor. And that, that bodes very well for us. And as we say, contract labor can grow in any environment except job destruction. And clearly, we're in a job destruction environment right now. But if we can get into just a flat labor market, we can persuade our customers to have a bigger percentage of the total workforce contract versus full-time. Um, you know, labor markets have wakened for sure. Unemployment is its highest rates, rates since 1993. Uh, we do think there's a little bit of a, of a benefit to us in the stimulus plan. As you know, we focus in the uh, healthcare financial services area, health information management. So some of the money that will be spent in that arena, uh, we think will be a beneficiary of. We think some of the money to some of the states uh, will benefit, benefit us as well. We do a fair amount of work in the state of California, and uh, some of the county hospitals are in absolute lockdown because they can't float bonds. So that may get them into a more normal buying behavior than they have been in the last uh, three to four months. And then there's a potential for consolidation. There will be constructive destruction, where you'll see a lot of the smaller uh, mom and pop companies that compete off of price that really didn't have appropriate capitalization that unfortunately will go away. Uh, that's good for us in the long run. And you will see some of the companies that survive this downturn that either because of age or because of the pain of uh, having to live through it say enough, I wanna, look, I, I wanna realize uh, my investment and I'm gonna sell out. Where uh, when things were good in 07, 08, they thought it was to the moon and they didn't wanna depart with the asset. And another news. Uh, you're, you're going to Germany tomorrow. I am. Are you going to bring back what German beer? I'm going to give you a shopping list. Okay, well, no problem. Fantastic. I can bring uh, two suitcases, 23 kilograms each. Um, What's the average Fraulein weigh? More than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In other news, uh, David uh, Dunkel, CEO of KFORCE, ticker KFRC, spoke about a recent acquisition of Bonobos, which will aid their expansion in the government area. Jeffrey Fieler, CFO of American Ecology, ticker ECOL, talks about the recent management changes with the new CEO and COO and the purchase of the Idaho storage facility. Mike Burke, CFO of ACOM Technology, ACM, spoke about their growth and benefit from the stimulus or bailout money in Hong Kong and China. Also in other news, Harold McGraw III, Chairman, President and CEO of the McGraw-Hill Companies, ticker MHP. <laughs> Isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> that is very, yes. <laughs> Talks about a new building uh, budget for California, including $355 million for instructional materials in fiscal year 2009 and $340 million in 2010. Better get cash. <laughs> That's true. They're not paying their bills yeah. these days. <laughs> Aren't they out of money in California there? Yes, they're not paying people. <laughs> Tom Evans, uh, president and CEO of Bankrate, ticker R-A-T-E. We love Bankrate. We do. Uh, discussed Bankrate's new website design that benefits con uh, consumers by making it easier to navigate advertisers with better integration opportunities. Super smart, always innovating, never sitting back on their laurels. Mm -hmm. Great management team, wonderful people. I agree. Scott Turicci, president of J2 Global Communications, ticker JCOM, talked about their successfully completed acquisition of Mailwise for a good cross-sell of electric mail services to Mailwise customers. Uh, we use J2 here. Uh, for the fax. The JCOM for the faxes to email, mm -hmm. and we have for years, and it works wonderfully. Perfect. Hey, guys, special stuff. Um, 
My buddy Todd Sullivan, who's one of the best people I know except for his Red Sox disease, um, has done an incredibly insightful, thoughtful, and brilliant analysis of a stock, a true religion, that we just did. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got a link to it. We'll have a link in the release, and we'll have a link on the website to it. It's free, but you ought to take a look at this. This is how stock analysis should be. If you read this, uh, you will see what someone should do when they analyze a, a company and a stock or an investment opportunity. Brilliant stuff. He's at Value Plays, um, and, and there'll be a link on the website. Mm -hmm. What most analysts do now is kind of after the fact they'll up or downgrade, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I if a company goes from 10 to 20, when it hits 30, then they tell you that, oh, we've decided to buy. Which has no value at all. None. Mm -hmm. You know, he he's looked at it and he's done really nuts and bolts, great stuff. I'll have a link on the website. Um, True Religion, we just did them last week. They presented at Roth, mm -hmm. uh, and they were fabulous, right? Uh, smart people, so Cynthia loves them. <laughs> you know, they just opened a store by me. There's always people in there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, anyhow. I, I, I remember I, they brought out a new sportier line, or they are planning on bringing right. out a new sportier line of jeans. And men's jeans. I'm kind of surprised you don't have a pair. I have a pair. I don't doubt it. You are <laughs> like a little fashion boy. <laughs> I'm going to keep a closer eye on you. Right. Anything else you want to add before we close this up? Stock Twitch. Stock Twitch. This <laughs> is fantastic Perfect. stuff. Perfect. <laughs> We're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at wsmco.com. Thanks. <laughs>